Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Everyone is safe and healthy, of course. There's a lot going on with the jet stream. A lot. And the purpose of this video is to go through the jet stream to show you what's going on. But also, I decided to give you a second opinion on the magnetic reversal process. Because there's nothing wrong with a second opinion. I prefer to give you that. So let's look at the jet stream. Before we get started with this video, and the reason I'm doing this video, is because things are changing very quickly now. As you see, this is the Antarctic. Look at the jet stream. That is not normal. It is totally, it's totally not normal. And as you can see here in the United States, I'm going to zoom in. That's not right, ladies and gentlemen. That is totally messed up. And you can see it's coming out of the northern part of the Pacific. It's coming out of Russia. And it's increasing right here with the warm water that is coming up. And this is bringing in cold temperatures. I mean, it's 8.30 in the morning here, and it's 45 degrees outside. It's not right. This is, this is in March going into April. And if you can see here in the white, this is extreme cold temperatures. But this is, this is not normal. And it's coming into Europe. They did receive a storm just a few days ago. I can't be on top of this all the time. I'm going to talk to Anthony and see if me and him can work together on trying to go over the jet streams with everyone. Right here in the Mediterranean, this is these two are coming together. That means there's going to be more flooding over here within the next few days in India. And as you can see, this one is moving north of China. There is a nor another storm that is brewing here. But look at this jet stream. This, this is not right for the Antarctic. It's, it's, not, it's not right. Where's the jet stream? Down here. Do you see one? No, you see it up here. This is what's bringing in the cold temperatures across China, Russia, and it's going to affect the United States. The cold temperatures that we are experiencing right now, it, it's not right. And the purpose of this video is to let you know what is going on with the magnetic reversal process. It's just a short video. I'm just showing you this because this is this is totally messed up. Totally messed up. It's all broken up here. It, it, it's a, it normally comes up and down, up and down. That way you get the cycle of rain or, or snow, but it's just, it's just a constant flow. And all of this is heading into Europe, more than likely the UK, parts of Ireland, Scotland, Sweden. But I'm going to take you somewhere else. This is Margaret Star, Reload, and he has about 30,000 subscribers. And this is the only channel that Earth Changes Channel supports dealing with this particular subject. And as you can see, he has a number of videos that are very important. Most of his videos are only about 15 minutes, very rarely if it goes over that. Sometimes maybe 30, but he's giving you his perspective, and he does go into other subjects, same as Earth Changes Channel. But 
I do not have access to certain data. He does. And that's why I would like to recommend his channel. He's from the UK. Talks slow and soft. But this is one example of the charts and the data that he is able to have access to. This particular information, talking about the space environment overview, I don't have access to that data. I use my indications dealing with mathematic formulas and going through the 26,000 year cycle and other. Sometimes I do have access to data that I may copy from Ben Davison or someone else. And me and Ben, I, I, I really like Ben Davison, but we disagree on the magnetic reversal process. He's not going to give you the latitude and longitude. He's not. He never has. He never states what position the magnetic north is. And this is the atmosphere dealing with CO2s as well as glacier cycles. This is very important because, as I mentioned in the previous video dealing with the magnetic reversal process on the timelines, that the ice caps are melting. A lot of them is melting in the Antarctic. It seems like it's every other week they are finding more and more ice caps and that are melting or separating from each other. Now, I'm going to take you to look at his map. And I discovered Margaret Star about, I don't know, recently. And he, me and him are very, very close to each other on our calculations. Now, this is his map. This is not my map. Okay. And he does the update every month, and it's almost exactly where I'm at on my mathematics reform. But as you can see right here, 40 degree mark. Okay. Notice the volcano. That's a reference mark. It's kind of interesting how the 40 degree is the tipping point, and it's right there by a ancient underwater volcano that is 62 miles across a lot larger than Yellowstone a lot so that means chances are it was at 40 degrees before and this underwater volcanic activity well it could take place again now these are the difference this is my map on the right and his on the left Notice how he gives a calculation every month. I don't do that. I'm probably going to start doing that. And as you can see, I'm pointing out about the ancient volcano. But you see his mark and my mark? He's calling for 40 degrees and I'm calling for 39 degrees. And the reason I do that and the reason we are off is I'm predicting 40 degrees will take place approximately 2024. But remember what I stated. It could happen earlier by 2023. And this deals also with the planetary system, of course, that's coming in under 30 degree elliptical orbit. But it's very interesting because me and him are the only two channels on the boob tube that is explaining in detail. As you can see, we have 36.75 degrees in March. That's pretty scary. For me it is. Because I understand that the planet is starting to show signs that are extremely abnormal. That's not right. You just saw the jet stream. And it's not right. I'm very concerned because he's staying publicly now. His statement is we're going to be at 
40 degrees by 2023. And I stated that's highly possible. Okay. I'm still holding to my prediction. And I may be off a little bit. But I believe we're going to, it's possible that we're going to be at 39 or 40 degrees by 2024. The reason my measurement is different from his or calculations is because, you know, the magnetic north movement deviates. Sometimes it slows up. Sometimes it gets very progressive and it speeds up. So that's why I'm trying to stay safe right here. But that may not happen, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just giving you a second opinion from Maggot Store. You know, I, I really admire the gentleman because he has access to certain data that I do not. He has access to a storbatory. I don't know the electrician, uh, like, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. I do not know the location. Okay? I don't. Maybe he states that in his videos. I don't watch all of his videos. I mostly rely on myself. And I want you to be very cautious about these other channels that call themselves Magnetic Reversal. Uh, one is Magnetic Reversal News. Uh, he's a young individual. Uh, he does not know as much as me and Margaret Star knows. Uh, it, the problem I see with him, he's never explaining why. And he reads, you know, government agency pages. Uh, he reads a script off those pages. And I, I just don't, I just don't do that. But me and Margaret Star, um, we have different approaches. What's interesting is we're still giving the message out to our subscribers. Now he does not talk about this 26,000 year cycle. I have never heard him make a statement on that and that's okay. That's okay. Hear me out. The 26,000 year cycle is very important ladies and gentlemen because it explains why the earth is expanding, why it's heating up the ocean floors, okay. why it, the earth is receiving so much pressure with the enormous cracks, the sinkholes, the earthquakes, and the volcanic activities. If he does not want to touch on that subject, it's perfectly okay. I still recommend him. I just want everyone to understand. Be cautious of who you're listening to. That's the only channel that Earth Changes Channel supports. If he deviated from the truth or made a mistake, I wouldn't even send him an email. The reason why it's not that I don't have time. It's because we, we are taking two different approaches. I want you to know that. I believe if you go to his channel, you will understand that he has a different approach than I do on Earth Changes channel. I do not know if he's connected to reliable sources. I have not heard him say anything about that. And that's okay. That is perfectly okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I just want you to be safe. I recommend him. And that's the only channel that I recommend. Sometimes he does talk about the plates. Sometimes he does talk about earthquakes I have never heard him talk about how our planet is expanding and what is causing that and that's okay ladies and gentlemen that is, that is okay he doesn't talk about the plumes 
we talked about. I talked about that and gave you the evidence on the magnetic reversal process understanding the timelines that we are in. He doesn't show certain illustrations or graphics like I do. And that's okay. He has a different approach. The reason I'm doing this, ladies and gentlemen, is because I would like for you to have a second opinion. He may he may hit something that I totally missed, or vice versa. Okay? Because I have a lot going on. I can't keep up. It, with, with these rocks that are happening right now, and the energy that's hitting us from the sun, I'm trying my best to keep up with it as much as possible. Now he talks about the ice that is melting and cracking in the Antarctic. But he doesn't miss why it's happening. The earth is heating up from the ocean's floor and it's creating humidity. It's changing the temperature in our atmosphere. This is illustration you saw on the update on the magnetic reversal process understanding the timelines. Now, one time I did hear him talking about the volcanic activity, but it was very short. Very short. You're not going to hear him not one time mention about the planetary system coming in on a 30 degree elliptical orbit. You're not you're not going to catch that from him. Uh-uh. It's just not going to happen. It's not. So part two of the magnetic reversal process will be off this Saturday, same time, four o'clock mountain time. And I'm going to go in detail. You're never, ever, ever going to hear him talk about biblical perspectives as well. Not going to hear that from him. I studied that subject right there, dealing with the constellation of Leo and Virgo, and how they went back 7,000 years in the past. It was simply not there. 7,000 years in the future, it's not there. And three months into the subject of researching, I was still in denial. I was still in denial. Sometimes you just have to accept what is before us. We have to. Because if we don't, we could get in trouble as far as not being prepared. It's in the Bible, ladies and gentlemen, and not everybody's going to talk about this because it's in a biblical perspective. And it totally, should I say, scare people, you know, that these timelines are taking place. If the 40 degree mark is going to be at 2023, when this planetary system comes here, Ladies and gentlemen, that's only 29 months from now. Now, he believes that we're going to be at 40 degree by 2023 of August. I believe we're going to be at 40 degree by 2024 in September. But it could change. Everything is changing quickly now. And I believe that it's related to to biblical perspectives as well as scientific perspectives. It's a combination of both. You can't leave out the biblical part. And a lot of channels are not going to touch on that. 
because it's very sensitive. It's very sensitive because it deals with religious beliefs. You understand what I'm saying? This planetary system is at a 30 degree elliptical orbit. Planet 9 is a hypocrisy. They have never found it. All they're doing is mathematic formulas punching into a computer. They don't have an infrared telescope. Okay? They don't. And Caltech is the one leading the way to confuse people about this planetary system. Planet 9, Planet 8, Planet 14, Planet 21. I've heard all of this over and over again. They're trying to mix you up, and it's in the infrared range. You can't see it unless you have the infrared telescope or a X-ray telescope. But all of the government agencies that, that have found this planetary system has been very successful using a infrared telescope because it's on the infrared range. But Planet Nine, you can forget that. It doesn't exist. They haven't found it. Dr. Robert Harrington found Planet, should I say, X or Nebiru. And what got him in trouble? He released that information on a film, Zachariah Suction. And he gave the concordance out. We will be talking about that on the magnetic reversal process dealing with the planetary system this Saturday. But if people want to believe that it has nothing to do with a biblical perspective, don't don't hold it against them. I don't. Because that's their opinion. That's their opinion. It's not my opinion. I've been studying the planetary system coming in at a 30 degree elliptical orbit for 17 years. It's the longest subject that I have studied on, combined with 230 other subjects. And this particular subject here, September 23rd, 2017 marks the beginning of the seven year tribulations there's no doubt one jubilee 50 years 120 years 100 years 70 years 50 years brings us to 2017 so just to remind everyone here we have a premiere and it will be at five o'clock Thursday which is today and I hope to see you all over there this is a very important message a lot is going on they found a new comment a couple of years back and it was captured by Jupiter's orbit and we're going to go over a lot of subjects and I think they are giving us a soft disclosure NASA never a straight answer but I just wanted to let everyone know about the premiere this evening so I just wanted to give everybody an update the second opinion that I support from him is a wonderful gentleman. And me and him were just trying to help everyone understand how seriously this is. This is serious. If we are going to be at 40 degrees by 2023, chances are it will be August or September. So we're very close on that. I hope it's going to be later. You know, I don't. This is the same time that that planetary system is going to be here. They run together. They're core aligned together. 
and Saturday we will be looking at it. Three different positions. And now I know where we're going to be. And I'm going to cover it. But the magnetic reversal process with the north moving, it deals with the planetary system on three different degrees. 180, 90 degrees, and approximately 12 degrees. And people say, well, how do you know that? It's, it's all about history. 3,600 year period. 26,000 year cycle. Two 12,000 year cycles combined. I'm getting concerned, ladies and gentlemen, because the flooding's not going to stop. I showed you the jet streams. It's not going to stop. The weakening of that magnetosphere as well as the magnetic sphere, it's not, it's not going to stop. And it's sad that people are being affected by this flooding every year over and over and over it's not going to stop and now we're about to get into the should I say the forest fire season now that's another one I mean the earthquakes brother Ron is doing a wonderful job over there I love him he, he's trying to help people now I don't know if he knows anything about the magnetic reversal process and that's per perfectly fine but he definitely knows about the earthquakes. And the gentleman that works with him on his live cast, I have a lot of respect from him. For him. He's very thorough. So please, you know, if you haven't subscribed for Emergency Management Associates, go over there and please subscribe. Because I can't be here all the time. I spent Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday on that video that's coming out tonight it was approximately eight hours of work these videos and the research it takes a lot ladies and gentlemen I, I just want to say thank you for your support donations came in I hope they continue thank you for the wonderful packages of love you know I, I'm so proud of all of you I really am I love you all each and every one of you I'm so proud of Earth Changes Channel family because we are all in this together ladies and gentlemen please continue in prayer and be strong and I'll see you this evening on the premiere God bless everyone and be safe